so much for tuning in to our Effect Radio channel. And this is Ryan. My host with me is AJ. And we are interviewing our Artist of the Month for December 2023, David Patacone. So, David, where where are you at? Well, I'm in, I'm in Arizona. I'm enamored by your music. I have a history of loving electronic dance music. And about two, three years ago, when I found out that there was Christian electronic dance music, CEDM, I didn't know it was possible. <clears throat> yeah, as far as uh, Christian e EDM, uh, it's been around for a while, actually. Uh, I learned, I've started writing music like 2007, I think, just literally knowing nothing and just kind of kept at it. And uh, in 2013, I took a, a class that one of my friends was, was creating. Um, he created it for Christian EDM music, actually, because uh, there wow. was some around, but it wasn't very good. And so he kind of created his own course. He used to be an Ableton uh, instructor. And so took his course. Uh, I realized I learned, I already knew a lot, but I also learned a lot. And I think the next year I got signed to a, a label in Europe. Oh, wow. A Christian label in Europe. And um, yeah, kind of from there, I just, I had a, a couple of releases with them and then we parted ways and I was kind of doing my own thing for a little bit. Um, and then uh, joined 80 Windlow Media Records in January of 2020. And I've been with them ever since. Um, they're kind of more a goth, industrial, electronic, rock kind of, that kind of scene uh, with, with our music. And so all the, all the bands on there are, we're all different, but we're all similar in that like kind of genre and stuff. But um, early on when I was, when, when I was making music, I wanted to do like specifically EDM. Uh, I had this whole dream of being like a DJ, or, you know, world-class DJ or something like that, but like to proclaim the gospel, you know, to, to share my hope and love and, uh, with Jesus. And, um, and I've kind of just kind of experimented with a lot of sounds and put a lot of things together, both the organic and electronic. Uh, so I started wow. throwing guitars in there and more harsh vocals and things like that. Um, so I think with my music, it's, it's kind of more a mix of, I think currently it's like a mix of like eighties synth wave, uh, meets like nineties industrial. And, uh, the latest EP is just come to something that I just, it was a, a direction I wanted to go, but I, I wanted to try out, um, but it doesn't really fit in either of those. So it's kind of, uh, kind of all over. <laughs> what, what style would you say this new album is? And what inspired you to do it? I was, so back in like 2022, uh, July 20, or I'm uh, sorry, early 2022, uh, God had told me not to write an album because I, I basically have released an album a year since 2014. And I had a couple um, side things I was doing. I had a collaboration with a friend of mine and then I was working on a video game soundtrack. And uh, so I thought, okay, well, I'll work on those and not work on the album. Um, and that I think... So we did KCF, King and Come Festival in Indiana in June. And one of my friends, uh, my sister, she ended up uh, joining me because uh, she had sang on Captive of My Heart, Monica Sowie. And uh, so the next month after KCF, we ended up starting a new band uh, called Theo Terran. And so that whole, like, not making an album for my, you know, my own project, it, it made room for that. Um, in the meantime, I was still doing just tinkering with ideas and things like that. Um, and starting about December of last year, just there's been a lot of things in my personal life that have just been uh, overwhelming, you know. So it's kind of in a sense of uh, just depression and things like that. Um, and so I was just, and I wasn't writing an album. I wasn't writing an EP. It was just kind of like I was writing a bunch of songs. And uh, I think about like six months ago, I kind of realized, five, six months ago, I realized like, oh, these all kind of fit. And uh, the overall kind of theme of it, it's it's more melancholy, but I wanted something where it, it glorifies God. It's honest um, because I think a lot of Christians and, and and people in general like deal with depression and uh, and so and mental illness and things like that. And and I think it's important to kind of bring it out and not not sugarcoat it. I didn't want to you know say oh everything's great you know I got Jesus and He fixed everything because I think He lets us go through things. And through life, uh, and we learn things out of that, and we grow out of that. Um, Absolutely. And so, kind of in in this this um, this album, it's it's honest. It's a little slower. There's some you know some songs kind of uh, 
kind of pick up the pace a little bit and stuff. And those are more triumphant, you know, praising God and stuff like that. And the whole gist of it is, is just being honest. And, you know, the, the book of Lamentations is kind of a big influence on that as far as like the message. Um, because I think it just a lot of, a lot of things we go through and like you read in scripture where it is just brutally honest and it's not trying to sugarcoat anything. It's not trying to say God solved all, all my problems or whatever. Um, but it's also it's also with hope in the message too. It's not like, well, this is the end and this is all we get kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of the 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 premise of the message. And as far as the sound, it was just kind of I, I really I got a a digital piano over there and it just kind of <laughs> inspired me a lot with with writing something a little more piano driven, um, a little more melancholy and just um yeah, I just it's comforting to me. <laughs> You know, it kind of helped me through it and I'm I'm still going through it, but it's, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel and everything. Yeah, we we really appreciate your music. And Ryan actually does Christian EDM hour. And let me tell you, he has a lot of your songs in the I system, do. don't you, Ryan? I love it. <laughs> I really so do. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Who do you feel Apostle Wise is like you? Yeah, I think it would be John. John, I think there's there's a specific relationship with with Jesus that John has that like, you know, even in his own in the gospel, he, he calls himself like the, the disciple that Jesus loved. And I think it's it's not an arrogant thing. It's like he knew who he was. Yeah. You know, and it's like I think that's where I've had to connect with God so much is like even reminding myself, you know, if I mess up and I sin, it's like I have kind of a tendency to, you know, over over exaggerate or like feel extra guilty or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, I have to remind myself, like God already paid for my sins. Like Jesus already died, for, died on the cross, rose from the dead. And like, God really does love me. And he also likes me, you know? And I think it's, that's something that was kind of revolutionary to me, like probably about 10 years ago. And just kind of like knowing God intimately, you know, and, and, and spending that time with him. And, and like, you know, like one of the things I'm looking forward to most of, you know, once I, pass on and, and go to heaven. And it's like, I want to just hug Jesus for like, I don't know how long, <laughs> you know, like just being in his, bra- in I agree. his embrace. Like that just sounds amazing to me. You know, that, that I'm looking forward to that. And I think it's, it's more of a, an intimacy thing, you know, and I don't mean that in like the, no. you know, the worldly way. It's just, it's that really knowing God and him really knowing me, you know, and I think that's really important, you know, cause I don't have a relation. I don't have a, a religion, you know, I have a relationship and that's, that was Absolutely. a big thing for me to realize too. You know, it's not about religion and all that stuff. And I think it, the, the world kind of looks at Christianity as a religion and yes. it's like, no, it's actually a relationship. And that's, that's what God, you know, that's what Jesus paid for <laughs> to get us back, you know, yeah. and he bankrupt heaven to get us back. And, you know, it's so. So Christmas is upon us. And we did briefly talk about your Christmas song that we really Mm -hmm. enjoy that mix. But I also wanted to ask you about in your household, I know you tell dad jokes. Uh, I imagine Mm -hmm. you have some (laughs) kids and maybe some Christmas traditions. Is there certain things that maybe you do that are unique this time of year as far as Christmas time in your household? Um, One of the things that we do, like we we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. Um, So that's one of those, like it's just, you know, both kind of the, the same kind of culture, but we, you know, both came from Judaism and all that stuff. But um, so we do that. Um, other than that, nothing really super special. I mean, just kind of, we like spending time together as a family, you know, and I guess everyone, <laughs> most people do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Since I mentioned your dad jokes, I do follow you on Instagram. Do you have a YouTube channel or other sources that people can follow some of your fun content? Um, so actually I, have, I do have a YouTube channel. Um, it, all my links. So if you go to David uh, there's links at the top that go to YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and, and all that. So it's probably the easiest, um, easiest place to go. So with Christmas, we're still on Christmas. Uh, Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to know what does Christmas mean to you? Like, I mean, obviously, you know, as Christians, we try to celebrate it to honor mm-hmm. Jesus. But I noticed that you had said earlier that you also do some Jewish traditions in your household mm-hmm. to celebrate as well. So what does Christmas mean to you in the sense that you celebrate both with your family? Well, I think with, with our kids, we wanted to kind of expose them to other, um, 
like cultures around uh around this time of year um but sticking with like the true god not you know some false god um so the jewish thing is just we wanted them to understand like the the story you know of the maccabees and things like that of, of how that all came about and like really the miracle uh that you know that god did with that and and uh i have like i have family that are uh miss as messianic jews oh, okay um, so yeah. they're they're not jewish but they they you know they 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 stick with the torah and they you know they they try to follow the law and things like that and mm. it's just kind of what what they feel is, is how what they feel is right and so they they try you know they know it's not a salvation issue of like you know keeping the law and things like that like obviously jesus is the one true and only way um but I, I learned a lot from them with that and i went through like a a, a torah teaching for like a, over a year um and you know really learned the you know the the mosaic law and all that stuff and you know so it's i think part of it was also it, when i was going through that that's one of the things my wife and i discussed and we talked to the kids about it and so we kind of do that uh, my son doesn't try to play with fire as much as he did when he was younger uh <laughs> so you, you like the menorah and it's like he's not trying to you know blow it out and yeah. you know he's he's a little more self-controlled now but um but as far as christmas i mean it's you know, obviously it's even in celebrating both, it's, it's really like honoring God and honoring the Lord and, and celebrating him, you know, and really ultimately Jesus, you know, coming to earth, lived a perfect life that he, you know, demonstrated, taught all that stuff, you know, died for our sins, rose from the grave, you know, three days later and enabled us to have a relationship with God. And so I don't feel bad as far as like, you know, trying just showing like my kids like Jew, jewish religion or jewish uh cult not religion jewish uh tradition yeah um but yeah we always you know keep it strictly with you know with the gospel and things like that we, we teach them you know through the bible and all that stuff and that they have their own personal relationship with jesus um christmas is you know beyond just the obvious with that it's it's you know spending time with family uh spending time in the word uh, spending time, you know, just celebrating God and, and who he is. And, and, you know, it's not so much about presence and, you know, all the, all that kind of stuff. I mean, those are cool things, but really the ultimate thing is like, we're celebrating God. Like he came to us, you know, he didn't have to, he planned it far ahead. It says from the foundation of the earth. And so it's, I mean, I can't go anywhere without talking about God. <laughs> you know, he's the best thing in my life. He has been since I was seven, you know, well, before I was 17, but I gave my life to the Lord when I was 17 and it's, you know, I, I can't not talk about, him, you know? Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of like, like, I love spending time with family. I love to spend, you know, time with friends and kind of celebrating God together. And, so, you know, just even being able to see family, we don't get to see very often, you know, they'll fly in or, you know, come in or whatever. And that's, that's always, you know, wonderful to, to, to behold, you know, and, and, and just spend spending time together. Do you have a message you would like to leave with our well, listeners? Ultimately, I mean, God is everything, you know, he's, he's so in love with us, whether we know him or not. And if you don't know him, honestly, he's the best person you'll ever meet. He is, he'll be your best friend and, and everything else. And he will challenge you and change you. And those that do know God, know him, you know, know the same. Um, but yeah, just, I, I would say focus on your relationship with God above everything else. Um, it says in scripture, you know, Jesus said, seek me first, or sorry, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. And so really when we seek him, we'll, and Jesus said, if we seek him, we'll find him. So really, I, I would say for the new year, just spend as much time trying to, trying to seek him, trying to know him, trying to just honor him and all that stuff and like really get to know him. And he, he's not hard to find, you know, he's not hard to know. Um, you know, just, you can give him everything. You can be brutally honest with him, um, about everything, you know, and there's been times I've yelled at God. There's been times I've been angry with him and there's been times when I'm just bawling because he's so good, you know, yeah, I've done the same, but yeah, that, yeah. that honesty is, is crucial. And I think that honors him and it, it allows us to, to, have that intimacy with him because ultimately like we, you know, we will spend one place or another in eternity and, and who better to spend eternity with than, than Jesus and with the father and with the Holy spirit and, and tons of loved ones and like worshiping we God can, we forever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and we can have that now too, where it's, we're not having to wait for that. Like you get to have a relationship with God now. 
and that's the ultimate thing is like it's it's all about his relationship with us and our relationship with him you know he's not this you know angry bitter hateful you know person like he genuinely loves people he genuinely cares about him he is just and you know justice will be served you know one way or the other um you know based on what's what's right you know and, and but the thing is like who better to serve you know who better to know than like he gave up everything to to get us back we didn't have a way to back you know we were all sinners we've all failed and we've all come short of the glory of god but his his righteousness it's a gift you know his 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 forgiveness is a gift and so if you don't know him I honestly just seek someone that you know if you know a christian or if you go to a church or uh, you know you have a church nearby like talk to somebody um if you do know him just this coming year just pursue him even more than you ever have you won't regret it by the end of the year man you'll just be better and changed and love him more and love people more because he he changes the heart for people too you know yeah so. well well what i've had people tell me is that they have never regretted in their life what they've done no. for god Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join us. We appreciate you. 